What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Please do not mind this before look, okay? It is day five. My hair needs to be washed and we also need to settle something once and for all. It's winter here and during these cold times when our hairs are frizzy, the definition is lacking, even the curls are slacking, what styling technique will give us the best definition so we can get more longevity out of our styles? Will it be finger coiling or the Denman brush? That is what we shall compare in today's video, giving you my best tips and tricks for each technique. One technique on one side, the other technique on the other side. I'll be using the same products, they'll be going through the same wash day, so we will really see which results are superior. Now this usually means that I look crazy for a few days, but I do it for you. You asked for it. And so without further ado, I am Yamei Romel. Welcome back to Cold Curls and let's get to it. Now first things first, to have a successful wash day, you need to start out with freshly cleaned and conditioned hairs. So let's jump into the shower. So for this wash day, I'll be using some of my favorite winter approved products as seen in me and my sister's updated winter routine video. Now what I really like about the Eva NYC Main Magic Shampoo and Conditioner is that they are cleansing enough while still being gentle enough on my curls during these extra cold and dry times. And I am so excited that we are also partnering with them for this very video. I am also going to deep condition for about five to seven minutes using the Eva NYC Therapy Sessions Hair Mask, which I especially love in the winter for the perfect balance of both moisture and protein for my porous hairs. Hello, we're back. I just got dressed and did a soft little glam here. I have my hairs here split down the middle, rinsed of the mask, and I wanna prep my hair at the same time using this. This is the Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. It's gonna help to seal in all the deep conditioning moisture that we just achieved. So I do like a few spritz of this. So I'm gonna be applying these same products, the same amount of products on both sides of my head. I'm going to apply the Rock Wave Curl Cream. I'm gonna do five pumps on each side of my head because when you're doing techniques like these, you need a lot of slip in the hair. Now on to styling. So there's three things I'm looking for here. I'm gonna be comparing how long it takes to complete styling each side. I'm looking for which side is going to give me better curl definition, and I'm also looking for which side lasts the longer. So let's get started and then I'll explain some more things as we go along. These tips that I'm gonna be sharing with you, by the way, are going to be universal for all hair types. So I'm gonna be going in with the finger coiling side first because Lord knows, this is typically a longer process. Now the first thing I'm doing is brushing through all this product. For those of you that recognize this detangling brush, it really grew on me. The first time I used it, I was like, what is this? And now I actually really like it. Now there's really good slip in my hair. This is absolutely crucial when you are finger coiling. When you are finger coiling and using the Denman brush, both of these techniques need a lot of slip. They should not hurt you while you are doing them and they should be easy to maneuver. And for any technique, when you are looking for the most amount of definition, you need to be working through your hair in sections because you will be more thorough and every curl gets the love. Okay, here are my best tips, okay? Your section size when you are finger coiling is all determined by your curl size. And your curl size is determined by the diameter of the circle where it curls. So wherever your hair takes a full circle, that is usually the size of the section and the size of the clump that you are taking more or less. So for me, because I have a tighter curl pattern, I do need to take smaller sections. You need to be thorough. Will it be worth it? You be the judge. I'm gonna put my timer on. Let's begin. The perfect finger coil will be determined by how much control you have over your hair. Control will come from your grip. It will also come from your slip. So having enough slip in your hair so that the hair just glides as you are moving is going to be absolutely key and make this process a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier. 
Now you'll notice before I actually twirl the curl around my finger, I'm combing through with my finger to make sure there's no knots to really smooth down any frizz before I go in. And that's the beauty of this technique. You are smoothing down any frizz and flyaways there could be in your hair, which is resulting in perfect curls. Now here's what not to do. You do not want it to get stuck around your finger. I mean, you kind of almost-ish still got the result, but it was painful. So as you are twirling, make sure you are moving down the hair shaft as well. I usually like to hold the end of the curl so it doesn't get tangled up in the process. So with my hand that's holding the section here, I comb through and as I twirl, I get a perfect curl. Now this technique is great for someone that is transitioning and that still needs to train their hair to understand where to go. That is a thing, it does work, especially when you're using strengthening products. Just always make sure that you are grabbing from the root area. Now, a very common question when finger coiling is, which way do I go? Because sometimes you'll finger coil and the curl will look really wonky. This is a tough one to explain because it really all depends on how the curl is starting at the root, which is something you can feel sometimes, something to get used to, but the easy way is if you're watching yourself in the mirror and you finger coil and that curl looks really weird, then start over, comb it through, smooth it out, and then finger coil the other way and you'll likely get that perfect curl that you're looking for. You eventually find a rhythm to doing your finger coiling you may find that many of your curls are going in the same direction, so it makes it easier when you are figuring out which way to go. But I usually like to start from one end of my head and work along to the other, and I kind of work in rows. This is a very tedious task, okay? Disclaimer, finger coiling is not for the impatient, but it is for those that don't like to do their hair often. Two thousand years later. Oh, hot damn. Like, hello. Oh, stop my timer. That took me 17 minutes. Almost 20 minutes for half my head, which is about correct because I've timed myself in the past, finger coiling my entire head. It takes about 40 to 45 minutes. A lengthy process. Let's compare that to how long it's gonna take me to Denman brush style this side. And will this side compare to this definition? I mean, so I'll make sure it's detangled first. And this too, we will be working in sections, but I can work in smaller sections with the Denman brush. And I will show you how. From my temple here, I will section this away. And here is my Denman brush. This is the seven row D3 brush. They have many different brushes. They have a nine row and they also have a five row. They have a mini one. They have tons of different brushes. Really brushing your hair with any brush will give you really good definition depending on how you use it. But what I really love about the Denman brush is the shape of it. This rounded part is going to really help with getting good definition. And I will show you how and why. If you have very tangled hair, I would never detangle with a brush like this. I like brushes that are a little bit more flexible, like a wet brush or this brush is really cool. But yeah, to style, this is mostly how I style my hair nowadays. And let's get into it. So I usually start around my front hairline. The differences with this is also I'm working in panels, so I always like to work with panels that are vertical and always out from the head because if you brush down, you are going to be suffocating all these curls that are in your roots. You will not nearly have as much volume and you're also going to have a lot of frizz once the hair does curl as normally, once it's dry, of course. So working in panels, I'll start from the back actually, but I'm getting right into the root at the, at the top curving the brush and letting it fall. Now as I am curving the brush, I like to compare this to using scissors on a ribbon. You know when you're wrapping a present and you take your scissors and your ribbon, you take the blade and you just 
like and it curls the ribbon that's like what you're doing with the Denman brush now let me show you that again and then you'll really see what's happening here now similar to the finger coiling when you're finger coiling, you need to make sure that your section size is the size of your curl, the diameter of your curl. The Denman brush is condensing all of the effort of going individually, and essentially I'm taking a panel of hair that is the width of the diameter of my curl. Now the cons to this is you'll get much more separation out of the finger coiling when you are as thorough as this, and you'll get more clumping out of the Denman brush because you are taking it in bigger sections, but this isn't necessarily a better thing for definition because you're not defining each curl individually. You're not paying as much attention to detail, but the benefits to that is it's gonna be much faster. You'll still get really good results, as you'll see here in a second, but you wanna be aware doing this technique if you have very fragile hair. But when you have the strength to it, you have treated your hair, it's gonna be fine. Now I already told you guys how to have the most amount of control when you're finger coiling, and if you want control over when you are using the Denman brush, try to work in clean sections, and also make sure, again, your hair is nice and saturated with product and moisturized with water. And as you brush, go right from the root in detangled hair, and then curve the brush and let the hair whip around the brush. Now I have a part in my hair here. Obviously, I'll be rocking a middle part now, or maybe I'll try to flip it after. But by styling upwards, this is how I can really have freedom over my hair after. I will be able to flip it wherever because it's not being brushed in one direction. It's just going 90 degrees off of my head. A few moments later, Okay, okay, finger coil side and Denman brush side. Now, if you're really looking for a lot of definition, you want to seal all of this in with a gel after or even fortify it with some hairspray when you're all said and done. But because I'm focusing on the techniques here and not the products necessarily, I mean, I already have my nourishment from the products. I got my moisture and I got my protein. I really want to focus on what these techniques are going to do for me. I am now going to diffuse my hair very gently, only using the hover diffuse technique, although that really is the only way to really diffuse, but I'm going to go ahead and very gently hover diffuse so we can dry these results, but keep as much definition as possible. Now today I'm going to be using this beautiful hair dryer from Eva NYC. This is called their Healthy Heat Pro Power Dryer. And it's actually really fast. That's why I've been using it. And I prefer to use it with my Sedge Beauty diffuser because with this diffuser, I have the option to tone it down or to let more airflow go. Especially since we are looking for the most amount of definition. Do not touch your hair while it is drying. You don't touch it once you're done. Applying your products and styling your hair, you leave it, you do not touch it, especially with your fingers, you do not touch it until it is completely dry. And I still have more to do, but hello, progress, getting there, BRB, perfect. And now I have a bit of a cast to the hair, which is why it's kept such good definition. I'm now going to soften that cast. Now this step is optional. If you don't mind the crunch and you really want your hair to last, just leave it. Just let it be. Because it's going to give you way more hold. But I'm going to scrunch it up. I'm going to use the Get Glossed Hair Serum. And just a slight note on the products. Again, why I really like these for me and my blonde, my bleached hair is because they all have protein in them. If you don't have as porous and needy damaged hair as I do, you don't necessarily need as much protein and you may wanna alternate some protein-free products in there. But for me, this works and I get such good bounce and definition. And here we have it. 
fresh day one hair, finger coiled. Like if you see, the curls are literally perfect everywhere you look. And here we have the Denman brush curls. Still really pretty curls. A little bit more on the natural side because they're not all a perfect ringlet. They're going in different directions. I would say it has a little bit more volume on this side than on this side. But in terms of definition, if you're really looking for that perfect definition, I will leave that up to you to decide. Okay, you can comment below which side you prefer better. And I will come back here in a couple of days so we can really see what's going to last better. I'll show you guys what these results are in a few days so we can really decide what we like better. Several days later. All right, everybody, I'm back with the final results. This is day three. And my hair was put through the ringer these last few days. I spent a significant amount of time outdoors when it was really, really cold. So this is a really good winter test. And you can see the definition. Okay, so since this was a test to see what would define my hair better, what definition would last better, I think we have a clear winner. Finger coiling side, Denman brush side. I love them both. But I think it's evident the curls on the finger coiling side are just perfect. If you are looking for that perfect curl result, or if you, again, are still transitioning, you still have a ways to go. You've got some wonky curls here and there. Finger coiling is the perfect option. Whether you want to do your whole head or even just the curls that really need that little, that little pat on the back, little extra help. But... Personal preference, I do really love the Denman brush side because it gives more of that natural result. I'm not always looking for perfect curls. Maybe if I have a more formal function, this is a nice styling option, but I love the volume. You know what they say, the bigger the hair, the hotter they stare. And I just can't, I just can't stop looking. But okay, you let me know. Do you like the Denman brush curls or do you prefer finger coiled curls? What is your preference? That's really what it comes down to and probably timing because, I mean, the Denman brush took a fraction of the time and time is money. But anyways, there's benefits to doing both. You let me know if you learned any new valuable tips today. Comment them below. If you have any questions, comment them below as well. I will try to get to them. And if you want to look into any of the products or tools that I use today, you can find those in the description box. I will have links to every product and tool so you can further investigate further decide if they are going to be right for you. And that's all we got for you today. Stay tuned for next week and stay tuned for the bloopers coming right after this. This has been your main girl Mel, out. Peace. Okay, we're ready to rumble. I hope I don't look crazy. What is good, everybody? And we also need to settle something once and for all. One more time, for funsies. Just in case you never know. <laughs> Thing once and for all. I'm gonna do it again. Once and for all. One more time, cause I know you love me. Amanda, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Once and for all. I liked it, I, I thought it was good. But you're never too safe, and you're always too sorry. Once and for all. Oh, I think that was good. I'm just, you know, one more time. Will it be finger coiling or the Denman brush? The SD card, SD card is just about full, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off now and I'm gonna jump in the shower and film that on my phone which I will send to you and from there we shall hope for the best love you bye